Good morning, my friends. So uh, today we are in Champ de Manoeuvre or Place du 1er Mai, May Day Square, or in its area. It's part of the Sidi Mohammed uh, municipality or neighborhood. And we are going to drive to El Biar, but today it's going to be a round trip, in fact. But today our round trip is going to be a little bit special. I will show you how to do or the best route in order to avoid traffic on a busy day. So today is obvious, obviously not a busy day, it's a, a Friday morning, the emptiest uh, possible time in order to drive a car. It's, a, it's the time when the streets are the emptiest here in Algiers, okay? And this is the square, this is the May Day Square, Place du 1er Mai, with its uh, fountain. Today the fountain is off. going to show you how to avoid traffic. I will I, I will tell you a little bit about the, the areas where there usually is traffic and how to avoid them. The Mustafa Hospital, the Mustafa University Hospital is on the right. It's one of the oldest hospitals here in Algiers. And it also has all uh, medical specialties. The emergency uh, entrance, the new emergency entrance is here on the right. This is uh, the Anim Leh Boulevard. Now, you could find traffic over there, a little further away on this boulevard. There is a, a market here, a vegetable market, a swimming pool on the left, in front of the hospital. Okay, so now we are driving on this street here, in order to avoid traffic that usually uh, occurs. Uh, on the Ali Millah Boulevard, which further away becomes known as Independence Avenue. There is an upper entrance to the hospital on the right. Now it's behind us. Now we are driving towards the Hermur uh, Street, or Hermur Boulevard. All this is to avoid traffic. All right, now, this is Hermur. careful here because uh, traffic goes uh, in both directions. If you want to go to Dilush Mora, drive straight on. And this is the Kharbur Street, which links the, the area of uh, Champ de Manoeuvre to uh, the area of Tilimli. The central Algiers is so green, it's so beautiful because it's so green, you can see all this vegetation, including uh, dense tropical vegetation. There is, okay, Dilus Morat is on the right, in fact this, okay, yes, so this is uh, Franklin Roosevelt Street, it's an extension of Dilus Morat. There is a museum here, the Museum, museum of Prehistoric Arts. This area is so interesting to explore. It's in the upper parts of Algiers. And now we are going to... If you find traffic here on this street, then drive onto... onto Ziryab Street here. Tilibili is on the right. Boulevard Krimpelkassem, the Krimpelkassem Boulevard. We have just left Franklin Roosevelt Street in order to drive onto Ziryab Street. So this street is known as Ziryab Street, named after uh, a Muslim polymath uh, who originally came from uh, Baghdad. And he went to Spain, to Muslim Spain, to Cordoba, in order to uh, be part of the king's court there. He was a, a scientist, he was a, a mathematician, an astronomer, and also a musician. He was a great 
Muslim polymath or, 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 or scholar or scientist. Syria, that's why uh, the local authorities here in Algiers are celebrating him with, by naming this beautiful street, very beautiful street, after him. It's winding, but it's uh, unfortunately traffic only goes in one direction here on this street. So I don't have to worry much. There is a, a garden here on the left for the local elderly to come and sit in the afternoon. All right, there is a stop sign here. Let's stop for a few seconds. And now we are driving onto the Muhammad, uh, the Boulevard Muhammad Bougadam. Pizza and tacos. Algerian tacos, of course. To be understood as Algerian tacos, not, not Mexican tacos. <laughs> And now, look, if there is traffic further away, then you've got to take this. There is a, there is a stop line here, so I've got to stop for a few seconds. And now, let's drive onto the El Mues, Ibn Bedi Street. And this is the entrance to a neighborhood known, or a part of El Bier, known as uh, Poisson. In fact, we are already uh, in the municipality of El Bier, although we haven't, I mean, the central part of this neighborhood is still away, still further away, it's a hilly street here, it's very hilly, traffic goes in both directions here too and uh, you've got to be careful because there are sharp bends here, okay, a co-worker of mine once had an accident here because she drove too carelessly. Muhammad al Street. This is Muhammad al Street, in fact. So now I guess that we are going to drive onto uh, the El Mueys Ibn Bedi Street. Okay, so. Yeah, El Mueys Ibn Bedi Street, or a road. In fact, it's, it's a road. referred to as a road. Chemin in French. Tariq in Arabic and Abrid in Tamazight or the Berber language. And uh, Ibriden is uh, uh, the Berber is Berber for roads. That's uh, what I have named my uh, channel after. Ibriden and Torokat uh, in Arabic, in classical or modern standard Arabic, also known as Fosha. All right, guys, so now we're going to drive onto uh, the Bashir al Ibrahimi Street. There is a stop sign here, and as well as a stop line, We've got to stop now. If you want to go to the central part of El Bier, you turn right. Rechts in uh, German, in Deutsch. El Bier is the right. El Bier is right. It's on the right. I'm learning German, or I'm in fact I'm relearning it. I've been relearning it uh, in the last uh, four, 40 days. It's wonderful. There are uh, so Italian. I mean, it has so many words that are similar to French, and I like it. Although German is, uh, of course, uh, insanely more difficult than English. Uh, sorry, uh, what I meant wasn't French, but English. English, because German German is 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 a Germanic language just like English. There is a cat crossing that this boulevard, this white boulevard in the distance over there. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. Great. And this now this is uh, the central part of El Pierre. 
with this apartment complex on the right. There is, I think, a shopping mall here, that building over there, built in Islamic architecture. I don't know whether it's still open or not, I don't know. But it was active in the 1990s and the early 2000s. Yeah, I guess that, yes, it is still open. Okay, so this is the central square of El Bier. Uh, the Muhammad uh, Bougara Boulevard is on the right. Uh, this is where it, uh, it uh, arrives here in El Bier. Tilibri is on, uh, on the right and Tagara. And central Algiers as well. And uh, the Medica Gate Boulevard is here. It's an extension of the Ali Khuja Boulevard. And uh, if you want to go to Bouzeria, you take the right. Babluet too. El Bier is one of the, the upscale uh, neighborhoods of Algiers, although it's not as upscale as uh, as Hydra. It also has some diplomatic representations, some diplomatic, uh, so, so, some embassies and and some consulates. The building over there is in Chateauneuf. It's in an area known as Chateauneuf or New Castle, and uh, it's the highest building here in Algiers. It's, I think, uh, 106 meters tall or something like that. I don't remember. And it's uh, the headquarters of AGB Bank. Although the tallest structure is the minaret of, uh, of the, uh, the Great Mosque of Algiers. Oh, yes. And now we are going to drive back to Shonmanov, our departure point. This is where you turn around. Of course, there is a lot of traffic here in El Bier on a on an ordinary uh, on an ordinary weekday or work day. I hope that my oh, my phone doesn't overheat before I finish filming this video. Binacular is on the right, by the way. But you can't turn right here, okay? There's only, uh, I mean, traffic only goes in one direction towards El Bier on that street. I keep forgetting the names of these streets, despite the fact that I, I drive on them uh, a lot. All right, guys, so now what we are going to do is to take the shortest way to, uh, to Champ Manor or uh, Mayday Square. There are some uh, nice looking fast food shops here. Maybe they are they are worth a try. And now guys when there is traffic uh, in the, uh, at the square, at the Kennedy Square here in the central part of Elbier, you can take uh, you can take a shortcut. I guess that it's this one. Let's uh, see. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. You can take a shortcut in order to drive directly onto. Uh, looks. Oh, is that a, a dead end? I can't believe it's a dead end. Is this a dead end? Oh my god. No, no. I was right. It's just because it's so crammed with parked cars that it looks like a dead end, but it's not a dead end. And this street is going to be our shortcut towards the Bougara Boulevard. There we go. Easy peasy. Great. And all this is to avoid that. Uh, uh, junction at the square. Great. So I have shown you another shortcut in order to avoid traffic when we are uh, driving from El Bier to uh, Mayday Square, Champ Manoeuvre, Place du Premier Mai. So this is uh, uh, the Mohamed Bougara Boulevard. Uh, there is a mini mart here on the right, and the cool thing about that mini mart is that it has a small parking lot. 
so you don't have to worry about uh, where to park when you visit it because usually it's uh, virtually impossible to find a free parking spot here I hope that my phone doesn't overheat I'm beginning to to worry a little bit about the temperature I need to reach a place where there is shade and I think that we are approaching uh, the part the shady part of uh, uh, the Bugara Boulevard and there is a beautiful garden here it's uh, the Tunis garden Jardin de Tunis very beautiful garden in fact and I think that it has been reopened to the public it's, uh, I don't know whether it's open on weekends or not although I don't really see people inside it and I think that there is a restaurant in, in the park in that park I'm not sure whether it's still open or not Algiers is so green when you, you you see it from a distance from the from the east uh, astonishingly green you know half of it is building uh, is buildings and half of it is uh, green it's uh, trees vegetation and we have many tropical plants uh, here uh, in central Algiers by the way they were left here by the French uh, authorities by the the colonial authorities colonial times but uh, independent Algeria uh, kept them, preserved them as part of the the heritage, you know, the urban heritage that makes the city very beautiful. So we have had some shade here. These trees have been providing us some shade. This is going. Uh, this is what is going to sh to save us. I mean, to save our video save the phone from uh, from overheating all right so now we are reaching the end of uh, this boulevard we are going to enter this underpass although I would have loved to show you uh, the, uh, the Addis Ababa square that's above us but um, I prefer to take this uh, underpass in order to have more, some more shade my phone is like a vampire now, it's avoiding sunlight so that it doesn't so that it doesn't overheat. In fact I am making it uh, avoid sunlight, sunshine. Okay, so I think that this is the last stretch of uh, in our uh, uh, I mean, on, on our trip. And this is Independence Avenue, an extension of the of uh, the Ali Mullah Avenue. Just look at how beautiful these trees are here, in the, and surrounded by uh, flower beds. Such a beautiful place. And it's only in the last 10 years that uh, the Algiers authorities, last 10 to 15 years, that the Algiers authorities have seriously started to um, take care of all uh, you know the general appearance of, of this city of Algiers you know now it's becoming more and more beautiful and cleaner much cleaner than it than, 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 than what it used to be in the I mean, 15 years ago or, or, or 20 years ago all right I've got to overtake this car there is another beautiful garden here on the right Okay guys, so now we have come back to uh, Champ de Manoeuvre. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I have noticed that only a third of you are subscribed. Only a third of you, my dear viewers, are subscribed. Therefore, I would love to ask you, kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel so that it becomes bigger and better. Uh, all right, so uh, drive safely, visit Algiers, take care of yourselves, goodbye.